Hello everyone, this is Tarun Jagdish. Now I will be talking about the logic of Hillier's model. Friends, as per Hillier's model, there are two types of cash flows. One is the correlated cash flow and the second one is the uncorrelated cash flow. Actually, Hillier came up with this model mainly for one challenge. Let us say for year one, we are having one standard deviation. Year 2, we are having another standard deviation. I want to find out the combined standard deviation of 2 years. That is one reason why we go for Helios model. So here, he says that to find the combined standard deviation, first we have to check whether the cash flows are correlated or uncorrelated. If the cash flows are correlated, then it is said to be more risky compared to uncorrelated cash flows. If correlated cash flows are more risky, we should take the present value of standard deviation. But if cash flows are uncorrelated, then it is said to be less risky. And once it is less risky, we should take the present value of variance. Let us take a very simple numerical example to understand this. This is example number one and this one is example number two. In example one, year one, the standard deviation is 100. Year 2 also standard deviation is 100. So what Hillier says is that if this is a correlated cash flow, I should take the present value of standard deviation. So 100, 100, assume the discount factor is 10 percentage, it will be 0 0.909 and 0 0.826. So with the discount factor, it turns out to be 90.9, 82.6 and the overall present value of standard deviation will be 173 approximately. Now assume the same numbers are not correlated but they are uncorrelated. In that case, we will take the variance. So for 100, the square root, the, the square is 10,000, 10,000, 10,000. But now when we use the discount factor, we won't take the 10% discount factor for year one. We will do it a double discounting which means year one, we will use the discount factor of year two. Year two, we will use a discount factor of year four. So once we do like this, we get the number as 8260 and 6940 and the overall variance turns out to be 15,200, the square root of which is 123. Let me go back to the initial theory. Cash flows can be of two types, correlated or uncorrelated. Correlated cash flows are more risky uncorrelated cash flows are less risky. So correlated cash flows, present value of standard deviation, we get 173, which is a higher number. Uncorrelated, we get the number as 123, which is a lower number. Hence proven that if it is correlated, it is more risky. And if it's uncorrelated, it is less risky. I hope you're clear with this video, friends. Thank you so much.